desiring the blessings of Almighty God at the outset of their wedding life, Meredith and Andrew have called us to be witnesses before God and of the pledges that they are about to make to each other. I remember when Meredith went on that blind date a few years ago. She was hanging out at my house before and told me she had to leave and get ready for a blind date, which I didn't necessarily believe because, I mean, who exactly goes on a blind date on Easter? So the next day I asked her about the date. What's his name? Andrew. What does he do? He's a lawyer. How did it go? Oh, I don't think it went that great. I knew there was something about you when you stepped out of that two-seater Mercedes over six years ago. I remember thinking to myself, I'm rich. <laughs> but honestly, uh, a blind first date at a Japanese restaurant with a beautiful Jewish girl on Easter. <laughs> Sounds like our type of TV show. That's pretty. That's pretty. That is pretty. Are you ready? Are you? I don't know if I am, but you look very pretty. Be a beautiful bride. I've known Drew for 17 years now, which means he is really, really old. I do remember for a very short while, I wasn't sure if I liked him. Once I took the time to really think about whether I liked him, I quickly realized we were basically the same person. I thought to myself, was he awesome? And if he's awesome, does that mean that we are awesome? <laughs> Turns out we were. <laughs> The right of marriage is the first and oldest right of mankind. It is to be a foretaste of paradise. You will, by your tender devotions, your mindfulness in little things, your sacrifice of self to each other, experience that foretaste of paradise. You came into my life when I was wandering without direction. You took hold and immediately gave me new enthusiasm and outlook. Something I truly feared I'd lost. <laughs> Andrew, it's so hard to put down into words my feelings for you and how excited I am to start our lives together. Today is truly a dream come true. And it is just the start of our lifetime of happiness. I promise to be supportive and faithful. I promise to celebrate you in the good times and be your stone in the hard ones. I promise to cheer you on at games, even when the crowd boos. I promise that as your wife, I will not keep score, even though I'm winning. Once I take your hand, I promise to never let go. I will love you fully, endlessly, and unconditionally to infinity and beyond. Father, thank you for this blessing of this marriage. And I pray, Lord, that you'll be with Meredith and Andrew. Bless them throughout their lives. That they will bring honor and glory to you. Help us, Heavenly Father, to have a wonderful day today, no matter what the circumstances, let us rejoice in it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
inspire me and make me want to be the best version of myself. And the best version of myself is not complete without you. So I make these vows. I, I promise from this day forward to live my life like I'm a member of a band and not just a solo artist. I promise to pursue you with as much vigor as you chase free t-shirts at sporting events. <laughs> I vow to keep watching the same episode of a show on Hulu 25 times, 25 nights in a row because you keep falling asleep in the first 10 minutes. I vow to be your accomplice if your obsession with true crime shows ever gets too real. I vow to always be ready to have my picture taken with you in front of Cinderella Castle while eating an ice cream Mickey bar in our matching t-shirts after walking 25,000 steps that day in the central Florida heat. I, I vow to love you like Christ loves the church and pursue our faith with you until he calls us home. I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. I've been able to do many things with the two of them, and every time I can see exactly why Meredith is so perfect for him. She's laid back, easygoing, extremely thoughtful and caring, and most importantly, is that she doesn't take any of his crap, and she'll throw it right back at him. I read somewhere that the Matron of Honor speech should have a piece of advice. So here it is. Love isn't perfect, it isn't a fairy tale or a storybook, and it doesn't always come easy. Love is overcoming obstacles, facing challenges, fighting to be together, holding on and never letting go. It is a short word, easy to spell, difficult to define, and impossible to live without. Love is work, but most of all, love is realizing that every hour, every minute, every second of it was worth it because you did it together. <laughs>